When it comes to trying to grow your accounts in the social media world, you need content and a lot of content. And if you're like me and you have clients who also need a lot of content, sometimes creating work for yourself or creating content for yourself can get pushed to the bottom of the pile. Now I've adopted a philosophy in order to help fix this discrepancy within my workflow. The entire idea behind it is simple processes equal consistency. Because if it takes a lot of time, effort, and I can't build one of my clients for it, then the chances of me getting to it are slim to none. So I've chosen this gear with these things in mind. It has to be easy to use and it has to be accessible. So with all that being said, let's get to the list. The first on this list is the Sony a7 IV. I've owned this camera for a little over a year now. And when I have a client project that needs photo and video work, which is a good number of my clients now, this is the camera that I'm bringing. I feel like it's the perfect hybrid camera. I know this camera through and through. I've used it hundreds of times, so it makes it easy to use for me. And because I have it with me the majority of the time, it's accessible. Second on this list, we of course have to pair this camera with the lens. Now this 55 1.8, I feel is the perfect focal length for vertical content. At least that's my opinion anyway. I love the compression that this lens gives and the subject separation from the background. Now, if you go over to my Instagram page or to my YouTube shorts, you'll see me film a lot of top-down content or a lot of unboxings. Nine times out of 10, that is filmed with this particular lens. As a matter of fact, almost all of my vertical content is filmed with this lens, unless it's a talking situation of me talking directly to the camera. Then I'll switch over to like a 24 millimeter. But other than that, it's gonna be filmed with this 55. The M1 11-inch iPad Pro. Now, this is the machine that I'm using to edit all of my short form content on. I classify short form as photo and video. So for photos, I'm using Lightroom Mobile and for video, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. Now, when they initially announced DaVinci Resolve for iPad, I was excited just like everyone else. But after using it a few times, some part of me felt like it was a letdown because it wasn't performing like my MacBook was. But that's because I was using it incorrectly. I was using it to try to do some of the intense editing that I would normally do on my MacBook, but it's not made for that. So if you try to do advanced keyframing or stabilization or heavy color grading, the playback for this particular app is gonna get choppy on you. So it's not gonna be usable. So if you keep it simple and you keep the things short and quick, it can be a powerful tool for you. The Fujifilm X100V. Now this is more of a want versus a need. And I know you can't get these anywhere right now, but I know I have the a7 IV and it can take photos as well. But I love how small this thing is and the quality of the images that you get straight out of camera. And I can post them directly to whatever platform that I wanna post them to without the need to edit. I use this camera for thumbnails for my Instagram reels. I use this to post directly to my Instagram stories. And I use this for behind the scenes content for all of my shoots. The underrated iPhone 13 Pro. Now I know that the 14 Pro Pro Max may be better, but I don't necessarily need a new phone right now. And I'm not one of the people who get wrapped up into the upgrade frenzy and need to upgrade my phone every year. Now, if Sony releases a new camera, I may be all over that, but for my phone, I'm straight. So with this, it could technically wipe out every other tool on the list because it can do everything. It can take photos, it can do high quality video, and it can edit those videos. So technically, if I didn't have anything else, I still have my phone and I can use that at any time. Now keep in mind, this video is not intended to make you go and buy what I have or use what I use. It's simply to make you think about the gear that you're using and how you can simplify that process in order to help you create more content for yourself. Peace.